RetroArch controls and options. There may come a time that you start a game and you simply just cannot move. Hold the start button down to get into RetroArch and then scroll down to core options. In this case, it sees our input as an analog stick. Change control mapping to digital. Different emulators will display different options here, so we can speed up floppy drives and things like that. If we go down to controls, we can assign each button on our pad. This can be especially useful for systems that just have really weird controllers, such as the N64 or perhaps the Dreamcast. Once you've assigned the buttons you like, make sure you save it under Save Game Remap File. And now we can play. Shatner got all the alien babes. I got the sexy robot girl, Beverly. Let's have a look now at a game on the Amiga. Jim Power here runs quite slow. To speed it up, we go to Core Options. And inside here, we have many things we can adjust. Go down to the Video Options. We should eventually find Frame Skip. If the game is not running slow, we should leave this off. Otherwise, changing it to 1 will help a lot. We can also use the other video options to fill the screen. We can change zoom mode to automatic. This is good for most games, but for some, like Lotus 2, it can slightly mess up the aspect ratio. Medium should be fine for that game. Now we have Gym Power running at full speed with frame skip of 1. Far more playable. There's also a few extra control settings in this menu. In here we can change the retro pad to be a mouse, or we could use the option down the bottom to use one of our buttons to work as up. This can be great for some platformer games, as well as some races. Either way, there's plenty of options here. Oh yeah. If you think that is impressive, check my manly bod.